I am the woodpecker today. I'm fixing this rocking chair. For those of you who are not familiar with Montreal, just beside the downtown area, we have a small bump that we call Mount Royal. At its top, you can find the St. Joseph Soratory. This Montreal landmark was founded by Brother André, who was recently canonized by the Pope for all the miracles he performed. People entered the oratory on crutches and left them there when they left. I think that my family thinks that I'm also able to perform miracles. The other day, René brought back this rocking chair, which was at her mother's house. Almost all the back rungs were broken, and someone even tried to fix it with hot glue. Now they expect me to perform a miracle and fix it. I'll see what I can do. The first thing I do is cut a piece of birch to replace one of the side rungs. Then I rip it on the bandsaw. For those of you who have been following me for a long time, you may notice that my bandsaw is cutting really easily now. After moving in, I removed the motor and brought it to a motor repair shop. The repairman told me that my motor was A1 and it must be the strap that was too tight. So, when I put the motor back in place, I took particular care not to over tighten the strap. And now it's working better than when it was brand new. Then I cut the piece square. I find the center of the piece and punch a divot in the center. Then I thought I was doing something smart when I used the jointer to remove the corners. But after cutting two sides, it was too unstable to cut the other corners. So I installed this on the lathe, and you may see that it's far from being remotely round. Then I turned that round. But I think I was a bit too aggressive. This won't matter in the end, because the piece is bigger than what I need. When I have a uniform cylinder, I use the old rung to take some measurement and transfer the placement of the critical measurement on my piece. Then I turn it to the right size. The previous owner of this lathe made this spindle support, luckily for me, because I need one to finish the rung. When it's like the original, I send it up to 220. After both ends are cut to length, I notice that the half inch end is not okay. So I use the smallest plane I own and shape the end. 
It's crazy how this toy looking plane has so much use in my shop. Now I can try my new rung on the chair. Next, I cut the dowels for the back of the chair. After all the dowels are sanded up to 220, René cleans all the rungs with alcohol and we can spread the stain. I leave everything like this overnight and the next morning I scrub them all with steel wool before spraying a thin coat of lacquer. While this dries, I remove all the hot glue. Next, I remove all the pieces that I can. This means almost all of them. The original side rung has a slot in its center for a wedge, so I need to do the same to the one I did. Next, I cut some wedges. I'm now ready for the final glue up. This time around, I'll use epoxy. And if that stays glued up as long as the original glue, I can say for sure it won't be me fixing it in 44 years. I start by gluing the two rockers assembly. Gluing this is pretty straightforward. Putting glue inside the holes, on the tip of the rungs, and reassemble it just like it was before. But with glue this time. Then I start to work on the back of the chair. I begin with a dry fit, and it's there that I notice that I cut all the back dowels to the same length, the length of the long rung. I'm so lucky that I've used this one instead of the shorter ones. So now I must recut four of them to the right length. But before going ahead, I check the first one. Since it's perfect, I can cut the rest, and after that, I can try a last dry fit. Now I can glue the rest of the chair. The big rungs have a screw in their back. To mark where to drill it, I stick a piece of tape with the old angle and now I can drill it. I just need to glue and screw everything. I need to repeat all of this for the other side. Now I can really glue the back of the chair. Finally, I glue and screw the rocking parts of the chair. The next day, I cut the excess, sticking out underneath the seat. Then, I clean the chair with alcohol and spray a coat of lacquer. For the second and third coat, I used my Lazy Suzanne to turn the chair. It was faster and easier. Here it is, the chair all fixed up. It's not that bad. 
When we look at it from a distance, my fix seems perfect. But if I were able to do something different, I would turn another side wrong. I think that the birch I used was not the same wood as the original, which comes from a place near Romania and it shows a little. But when the chair is back at my mother-in-law's house, with all those cushions and all the people sitting on it, we can barely see the rungs. I'm telling you, I'm even sure my mother-in-law thinks it's a miracle I was able to fix it. And that, just like Brother André, I should also be canonized. Thanks, and see you later for another episode of The Woodpecker. Woodpecker.